Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. It's me, a learning partner, Ajata. So today we are going to talk about a very, very important topic. And this topic is very important, also very amazing topic. And it's a type of inventional topic. And I hope all of you like this. And the topic is what? Yeah, our topic is about the longest word of the world. So, well, most of people think that, oh, there's not any smallest, I mean, sorry, uh, there's not any longest word of the world. It's a false talk. It's false. There's only word and word. All are small. Why there's longest word? Well, the truth is actually, yes, there is a longest word of the world. And we will learn that in our today's topic. And I request to all watch this full video so that you can learn about the longest word. So, well, in the left side, you see a long x-ray examiner. And like a patient has gone to doctor's clinic and also asked to examine my lung. And doctor examines his or her lung and after examining complete, he gets this type of x-ray. And if the doctor gets this type of x-ray and then you have to think that it's a healthy lung and pure and clean lung. There is not any bacteria, diseases or any symptoms in the lung. And in the right side, you see it's, a, it's also a lung it's examination for x-ray. And if you get this type of dark circles, dark points, dark spots in this lung, then you have to think that it's a disease called silicosis. So, well, what is silicosis? What does it mean? You know I mean? It means it's a form of occupational lung disease caused by inhalation of crystalline silica dust and also it is marked as an inflammation in the lung and it's a type of pneumoconiosis so well everyone will think that why i didn't use the largest word i am why i'm using this silicosis pneumoconiosis but i'm using this because it is a short form of that largest word and now I'm going to show you the largest word of the world. And the word is Neomono Ultra Microscopic Silicovolcano Coniosis. I'm repeating again. Neomono Ultra Microscopic Silicovolcano Coniosis. And also, if I talk about the definition of this word, largest word, pneumono, ultramicroscopic, silicovolcano, coniosis, then it will be like as the disease, silicosis. Because both words, are, both words are, have the same meaning, same definition. So we can, and I'm repeating again, if you have forget about it, then no problem, I'm repeating again. It means a lung disease caused by inhaling very fine ash. Many of you think that ash, um, it will be like this, A-S-H-E-F-G, like this. But it will be like fine ash, A-S-H. The spelling of this word ash will be A-S-H, ash, and sand dust. So, in this word, pneumono ultramicroscopic silicovolcano coniosis, if we see the phonemic transcription of this word, pneumono ultramicroscopic silicovolcano coniosis, then it will be like this. And here you see there are six secondary stresses and two primary stresses but you have to keep in mind that secondary stress is less important than primary stress 
because primary stress is very 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 much important you can write this phonemic transcription of this it will help you to pronounce that word correctly new mono ultra microscopic silico volcano caniosis and the next question is how many letters and syllables are there well 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 it's a very easy question how many letters are there in this word new mono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis so if we count the words one by one then we get one two three four you can count with me together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Well, you can see my laser pointer machine and I'm calculating through this and by calculating the letters of the word new mono, ultra microscopic, silico volcano, coniosis, I get 45 letters in this word. Well, it's a very big word, I think, because there are the letter, the number of letters is very higher. And in small letters, one medium letters, it can be one, two, I mean, forty letters or not so very. I mean, one to twenty like this. This is the small to medium letters, but the number, the letter number which has more than forty-five and more than 40 then it is called the largest word well we can understand that it's a largest word and what about syllables if we count the syllables everyone will think oh it's very hard to find the biggest word syllable oh it's very hard but there is a way behind it and the way is clapping system and the clapping system is invented by Maria sister and if we use this clapping system, we can count the syllables of any word, whatever it is, small word, medium word, or larger word, or longest word. We can count any of them at a speed and short time. And if we count syllables, then it will be 20 or 19 syllables. And everyone will think that why there is... 19 or 20 syllables it will be only 20 or only 19 i use these 20 or 19 both of them because sometimes in this word new mono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis you have to see that sometimes the knee and would join together and sometimes Ni and U combine together so that the syllables vary sometimes. But both are correct. You can use them, any of them. But the real, the real correct is 20 syllables. It's the real correct. Sometimes many people think that it will be 19. Or sometimes many people think that it got 20. Both are correct, but if you use 20, then it is better, very better. So, if we talk about who invented this word, new mono, ultra microscopic, silico volcano, coniosis, then you will be very amazed to know that it's invented in the annual meeting ceremony of like this i mean the most famous institutions and the institution is what national puzzlers league 
or you can say it as short form NPL and is invented by the NPL or National Puzzlers League's president Everett M. Smith. It's a, he, has a, he is a very famous person, all of you have known. Edward M. Smith created this word, new mono, ultra microscopic, silico volcano, conosis. And it's a, well, it's an artificial word, and it's a very artificial mainly. And an article also was published by the New York Herald Tribune on 20th February 1935 about the invention of this word pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano conosis and about this when it was discovered and when it is created all details are given on that article so that's all about and it's the end of the presentation and I hope all of you have discussed and also understand from this longest words topic today and we will come with next video soon and stay safe stay fine because now the COVID-19 pandemic has increasing day by day so you have to stay safe more and more so that's all for today I'll come on next video soon. Till then, stay safe, stay fine. Bye to all.